Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm gonna share with you my incredible ayahuasca life-changing experience. This topic is not typical of what I normally talk about, but I've wanted to use my online presence as a way to share my story, which is very, in my opinion, it's been very life-changing and valuable to me. And I know prior to my first time doing ayahuasca, I didn't know much about it. I had heard of it. Uh, and what I had heard sort of repelled me a little bit, honestly. It seemed a little bit over the top, intense, and sort of like a pain in the butt. Like you gotta go, you know, sit in the jungle and the Amazon and have mosquitoes all over you and sit in a puddle of swampy water and go through this really uncontrollable experience. It wasn't like that for me. But anyway, I had these ideas about it that, that kept me distanced from what has now become an incredibly, unspeakably valuable source of healing and guidance and transformation that is now a regular part of my life and it's made me a better, more grounded, more loving, more compassionate, more humble human being on all levels very, very impressively fast. And I wanted to use my online sort of presence here with my subscribers and just sort of share it with all of you, not as a suggestion to do it, but just as an offering of one man's experience and you can see if it resonates with you and maybe this will be a way to open you up to something that can be very helpful to you as it has been for me. So I've done ayahuasca now a total of seven times. I'm not gonna tell you about one single experience, more of like how the experience is for me, which usually is it's like this ongoing thing. It just, it picks up where it left off the previous time and it's now like, it's not like I've had the experience and now it's over. It's now I'm part of this uh, ongoing transformation process that I will do sort of here and there throughout the year as a means of continuing on this transformation process. So now I'll go ahead and get into sort of the details of my experience, which I wanted to say it's, if you've ever spoken with more than one person who's taken ayahuasca, you'll realize, as I have, that everyone's different. My experience could be incredibly different than what you've heard or what you will go through if you do do it or what you, if you've already experienced it. It really is very, very, very different for everybody. But I'm gonna share with you mine. You see if you get something out of it. It's, I feel it's a very interesting and exciting story and we'll get right into it right now. So the first couple times I took ayahuasca, I did not feel it all that much. I was kind of waiting for something to happen. I felt relatively bored during the somewhat longer ceremonial type experience where you're with kind of a group of people and there's shamans and stuff. And I felt just like I was sitting there a little bit, I had the suspicion it just wasn't hitting me, but in those moments I was kind of disappointed. Well, that third night was similar. Even though I went into that third night feeling a sense of respect. Like I, I had a feeling this is gonna be the night for me. And I was right, oh my goodness. Um, but still, I took my first cup. Sometimes you'll take multiple cups and I felt nothing. In fact, I went up after about an hour and I asked the, the women there, I said, can I have, I have another cup? I'm not feeling it. And they looked at me like, you don't know what's coming yet, buddy. And they're like, no, you're gonna wait. We'll do another round and we'll let you know. I said, okay, you know. So I went back to my seat, kind of like, like a, a little bit cocky and impatient. I laid down there and just kind of chilling, looking around. And finally the shaman said, oh, you know, they, they lit their candle and it was time for the second round. A lot of people didn't get up and I was surprised. I said, man, is everyone, I, I, sh I wish I would have thought, I wish that would have occurred to me. Maybe there's a reason very few people are getting up. Maybe you just haven't been hit yet, Vic. But I was just, I was in my own little world, in my own little cocky bubble, honestly. So I got up there, and I swam, I kind of like, I, could, I felt like they could tell I had not been hit yet, and I was kind of disappointed. And I remember the, the, I could just sense this person gave me kind of a big cup because they knew I needed it. <laughs> and I went back to my seat, Waited, nothing happened. I, in fact, I had my notebook, a little bit different, but it was like a notebook like this. And I was like sitting up on my, kind of leaning against my arm writing. And then all of a sudden, at once, 
like a ton of, like a freight train. I felt this incredible, like, pit in my stomach, like, <gasps> almost like if you've seen a ghost or something, like, <gasps> like it was like that. And then this wave of powerful energy just sort of stormed over me all at once. And it was like, <gasps> oh my goodness. It wasn't gradual, it wasn't sneaky, it just, boom. It came on like a light. And there was nothing, I, I knew I had maybe a matter of moments to lay down and get comfortable and I probably wasn't going anywhere for quite some time. That's exactly what it, I did. I laid down and it was like, it was immediately evident to me that this was not a drug or a substance with some kind of predictable effects. It was an interaction with an incredibly intelligent and powerful presence, being, spirit. They had an, an, its own independent intelligence and power about it. There are many different types and categories of experiences as I have been taught anyway. And what happened to me was the variety of what people refer to as a surgery. And this is gonna sound weird. This is exactly what happened to me though, straight up. It was like the being wanted to do or decided to do uh, the surgery experience. And the way this goes down is you're laying there and you feel put under as if, just as if you were, if you've ever had surgery, I have, they put on this gas mask on, right? And, you know, they say breathe, count back from 100, in two seconds you're out, that kind of thing. And it has that exact same smell. I swear to you, you start to smell that exact stuff and your face, your mouth and face go numb, your extremities, your hands, your limbs, your feet, they start to kind of numb out. And that's incredibly unnerving because it, the, what, it can't help, at least for me, beg the question, why am I being so buffered from this? Is it gonna be so over the top that I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna need to be put under a little bit? It, it's racing through my head, like what the hell? I was kind of warned about this experience and it's actually a very positive thing, but it, in the moment it was like overwhelming for me. So I laid there and, and it, it felt, I just felt a tremendous amount of like spiritual type of like energy rushing through my body. It wasn't like a physical energy, like a, you know, like your hand falling asleep and then waking up. It wasn't physical. It was like this subtle energy that was very palpable and noticeable was just sort of coursing through my body as I was being worked on by this being. And it took me a couple of times to realize like what was happening. The, initially, I felt overtaken. I felt like invaded, you know, intruded upon. Like, what is all this? This is, I, and I was like regretting doing this. This is freaking intense. This is, this is like, I don't like this at all. I felt like there was this other thing and it was it had control over me. It took me a couple times to really settle in and realize what it was doing. It was only my interpretation of the experience that made it intense for me. <sighs> I get choked up because the I know we don't like to pause this long, but the depth of love. This, this being has for, for you, for us, is so unspeakable. It just, I realize it just wants to, it's just trying to help. It's just trying to heal us, like very quickly, very like, we don't have to do anything but just lay there. It just wants to literally like, release all the blockages we have that are holding us back from who we can be become. And yeah, it's intense and it's powerful, but the healing is powerful. Once I realized, once I got into a rhythm with this being and sort of learned how to communicate with it, it became evident to me like, what is, it's like, wow. I, I would always think this is so helpful. This is so valuable. This is so considerate. Thank you. The way it goes down for me is it will show me or she will show me 
aspects of my character, aspects of myself, in a light that's more easy for me to perceive as being like inauthentic or maybe selfish or maybe, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, egoic sort of motive is revealed to me in a very obvious type of way. And then with my permission, when, usually when this is happening, I'm like, yeah, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, wow, oh, Jesus, I don't like to see that about myself, but, I, but it's true, and I can see that. And it's almost like I, I would put forth the intention, like I would like, I'd like to deal with that. And then with your permission, the ayahuasca will go in and, and start, and this is where it can get kind of with the surgery and a little bit intense, but it goes in and it, it knows the origin of those manifestations and behaviors. And it's sort of like, almost like if you imagine a bunch of little knots in your body, a little like, like shoelaces all knotted up, it goes in and like unties them for you. And you can feel, as has happened, the, the energies underlying and fueling those egoic manifestations and inauthentic expressions of your true self, the origin is like brought to the surface and it can be sometimes unnerving like, like f old fears, old emotions, old sadnesses, old grievances, you know, unresolved issues and pains are, are like l sucked up to the surface basically and you feel it. But then it's like, ah, like that. It releases just like that. You just like let it do its thing. And it just like, oh, it's I guess so emotional because it's such a nice, it's such a beautiful thing, man. It just releases them. And you feel great. And you're like, wow, then you know, like, whoa, this is, this is not just a, this is not just a, a drug I'm taking. This is a, this is a straight up mystical experience I'm going through right now. And then it happens again and over and over as long as it feels you need in that time, which can be different. The types of things that come up are always different. Sometimes they're just more like illuminations and just counseling like, hey, have you ever thought about doing this for your life purpose? No. Well, how does that feel? Wow, it feels great. H how do I go about this? Okay, it's like you can get like downloads and direct communication from this being like, yeah, you would do well at this. You would love it. And that's like the next step for you. And now you, now you know, go for it. And you leave feeling so elated, so uplifted, so like, yes. Other time, just like, listen, I know what's in store for you. I know what's up ahead for you. You got to let go of your issues with your father or your mother or what happened to you when you were younger. And it's like, oh, and then it can be a series of in intense release, but release indeed it is. Now, the way that I go through all this, this is where it becomes individual. It's not important. There are some people that say that the ayahuasca spirit will appear to them as like a, a person, a beautiful woman, or an erotic, exotic woman, or a, a jaguar. For me, it's not any of this. Never, it never comes as like a humanoid or a, a single being. It's just like the whole experience itself for me is a manifestation of this intelligence and it looks a bit unusual my my the visual experience of it is unusual difficult to describe very otherworldly like nothing that i could like relate to something that's familiar um but that's, again, that's not important. Some people don't really see anything at all. It's just an energy experience. It's, it's very different, but the fundamental process of what I described does seem to be exactly what happens, uh, you know, generally speaking with everybody. It's a healing. It's a, it's a, it's a fast, in fact, I heard, uh, I'm gonna say, Graham Hancock say, it's like, it's like a whole decade of therapy in one night, and it feels that way. If you've ever been to therapy, if you've ever you know, confronted aspects of yourself that you've been suppressing, it can be hard in the moment. That's, that's no joke. It's not, I'm not gonna pretend it's not. It can be challenging to, to face yourself like that. But then there's a feeling you have after that. After you've faced it, let go and integrated yourself. You feel, the one word that comes to mind is light. You feel lighter. Like whatever that was you were carrying, even if it's an abstract emotional pattern or something, nothing that you can just pick up, 
you feel lighter, like a lot lighter. In fact, a lot, one of the things that finally caused me to decide to do this ayahuasca and give them the opportunity was just the, all the testimonials I saw on YouTube. There's people that tell about their experiences and it can seem kind of overwhelming as I just described, but I noticed the people doing it, they had a lightness about them, a, a light, like their, their eyes had a light and a grace and a light, just a, they look good. They looked very, very, very much at peace and serene and happy and content. And I could feel that and see that in them. And that's exactly how I feel afterwards. There's been many other really interesting tales I could get into with uh, different spirits or extraterrestrials or all sorts of kind of cool stuff, but I don't want to I don't want to dilute the fundamental reason for me sharing this, which is this: I believe right now what's going on on planet Earth is a healing. It's a it's a it's a it's a, a necessary evolutionary healing cleanse that the planet and people are experiencing very intensely now. And tools like the ayahuasca can help really help you heal more smoothly, more quickly, and e more easily match the vibrations now on the planet so you can harmonize with them and feel at one with them and lift up with them. And it's just been a very, it's been a life-changing tool for me. And I've talked about this many, you know, many times on different videos. I even have a whole vlog I've done on them. And I just feel very, very passionate about this. Again, this might not resonate with you and that's okay. That doesn't mean there aren't other tools that will be just as impactful for you. But the ayahuasca is what does it for me and I wanted to share that with you just for the sake of just letting you know how much it's helped one person do with it what you will. Regardless, you guys have an amazing day. I will speak to you very soon. Back with another normal spiritual awakening type video next time. Thank you for listening and watching. Peace.